Well, that's dangerous. See, Quan, I'm gonna need you to just stay put because, ma'am. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXX Chic, and we are back with another new show. It's kind of crazy that two shows actually launched in the same week, but here we are. And you know me, I love new stuff, so I'm ready to jump in. The new show is called Halo, which I believe is based off of the very popular video game of the same name. We are now getting, it looks like a limited series based on it. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you right here and now, I've never played Halo. I vaguely know it's based on, uh, you know, kind of a space odyssey type thing. L like I really know nothing about it. So <laughs> for me, I can't play first person, shooter, first person shooter games. So as soon as I heard it was FPS, I said, I'm sorry, I got to tap out, but I know it's very popular. I've so many friends who've played it and were in love with the game. So I feel like there has to be a pretty good gaming lore behind it in order for them to want to make a whole series about it. So I saw this, the trailer, it looked interesting. I figured I'd give it a shot. Hopefully it's something that's quite interesting. So I'm just gonna take a look here at the Wikipedia premise so I get an idea of what this show is supposed to be about. And it says, Halo is set to follow a, sorry, Halo is set to follow an epic 26th century conflict between humanity and an alien threat known as the Covenant. Halo will weave deeply drawn personal stories with action, adventure, and richly imagined vision, and a richly imagined vision of the future. Executive producer Kiki Wolfkill revealed that the series is a standalone story that takes place within its own silver timeline. And that is, sorry, and that it's inspired by the game franchise rather than a continuation, adaptation, or prequel, explaining that they wish to give two Halo canons a chance to evolve individually to suit their media. Okay, so I just take that to mean that probably certain characters in the world and some of the, you know, overall kind of theme of the show will be Halo based, based on the game, but the storylines may not be exact from the, from the, from the game as what they have in the show, which makes sense. Cause sometimes these things don't translate well when it comes to live action, but either way I get the idea. 26th century humans versus aliens. Got it. Don't really know anything about characters. Didn't talk about it focusing on a certain character, but it says it's supposed to be talking about personal stories, so I expect there to be some decent character development. So, all right. That's pretty much all I got for preamble since, like I said, I know very little about the game or the world. I'm very anxious to get to know what this, so this story is all about. So we're gonna jump in, but before I do, if it's your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It just helps me out a lot with the algorithm and helps people to see this video. And if you really, really like this, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I do more reactions to this show and many that are in the same vein. The same goes for those of you who've been here before. Thank you so much for coming back. If you haven't joined the fam yet, it'd be great if you did today. We'd love to have you. We're on a march to 10K. We're getting so close. Would love you to be there with me when that happens. All right, that out of the way, guys, let's get into Halo episode one, which is called Contact right about now. I see dunes, sand, Sahara, Mars, Madrigal, heavy water extraction planet. <laughs> Where's the water though, yo? Yeah, let someone else do. A professor has sticky hands. You say like cheat. I'm saying you don't wash your hands. My hands are faulty with the blood of you. You all need not be the answer. And that is why that man always plays a slimy me. guy. Have you seen a slime? Of course. I face Marines. Face <laughs> Marines. <laughs> He's the young buck, apparently. It cannot be stopped. Just keep on killing. Without mercy. There was nothing. To go. He said without an ounce of joke in his voice. Where's my daughter? Probably out wandering with a friend. You know Quan. Quan's a troublemaker. I can feel it already and I like it. We need to talk about the uh, hairstyles here because whoever is running the barbershop on this planet needs to be fired immediately. Magical. The galaxy's highest concentration of heavy hydrogen. Power your ships and power your drugs. Well. See you on the other side. <laughs> Not these kids getting high during a war. Juan, where are you going? She's the only person who didn't get high, too. Y'all didn't notice that, huh? She trying to get them all killed. I see you, Quan. That sounds like something you shouldn't investigate. 
Good girl. Run, you little junkies. Let's go. I told you because they're all high. The hell? Run! Don't do drugs, kids, and stay in school. Ah! Stay down, Quan. Stay down. Ooh, General Hall's gonna be very, very, very scared because his baby's out there. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you could have broken both your kneecaps doing that, girl. But I guess the alternative is literally being blown up, so. All of Quan's friends dead in one go because of drugs, kids. Don't run, look backwards. Keep running, girl. Come on. Korean? Okay. Do your job. She's trying to tell you this is not human. But dad's right. I mean, at this point, you just got to go with the protocols. It's not like you can sit there and panic. Oh, aliens. God ain't got nothing to do with this, sir. Oh, okay. We swearing now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to tell you guys because I don't think you're safe in there. Wow. Okay, y'all are horribly outnumbered. You can't go out there, Quan. No, 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 girl, you can't. We're warriors, aren't we? Stay put, I'll be back, okay? You're children, very, very little children. <sighs> but what could possibly work? I don't even know. Like, their bullets are just bouncing off these guys. There has to be a weakness, but what is it? No. Too late for that. Kind of knew that was going to happen. Oh, he thinks his daughter's in there. That's why. Oh, finally, the cavalry. Yeah, he's not here for you. Couldn't you have come five minutes before the kids all died? Spartans be useless and shit. You have a nerve calling anyone a demon looking the way you look. In the face. That's what you get for killing children. Yo. I shouldn't laugh, but. I just feel like, what What are you going to do? Your bullets didn't even scathe them. Maybe we'll let, leave it to the heavily uh, armored and uh, super strong soldiers at this point. That's right. Have a taste of your own weapon, bitch. Meanwhile, Quan keeps running into danger. Can you stay someplace safe, please? Just flailing around, causing people high anxiety. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to make it. I don't know what he was thinking. I shouldn't say that. I mean, he should fight for to protect his people, but you got to know when you're outmatched sometimes, you know? The movements are so CGI. <laughs> Any time now. Right? She's like, I don't really have much choice. If I stand up, they're going to blow me up. Oh, well, okay. He said, I'm done. I'm really tired now. I'm going to empty this entire long ass line of bullets in all your asses. I mean, I guess thanks for the help, but pretty much everyone's dead. So I'm sorry, my guy. It's not your fault. You couldn't have possibly done anything to stop that. Wait, I feel like something bad's about to happen. I knew that they weren't gonna get a happy ending. I just knew it. And this is exactly why she's going to become one of them. Literally, these guys are always two seconds too late. I'm a little over it. 
Sole survivor. Oof. Sorry for you, Quan. 150 civilians. No survivors. What? Scratch that. One survivor. One survivor. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. No one should ever watch their parents die like that. We don't get to see a face? Okay. Yo, that was just the intro? God damn. <laughs> That's intense. <laughs> That's how we start in this, okay? I guess you just gotta accept that in a world like that, you don't have time to be sad about people dying. I mean, the, whatever those aliens are, they far outmatch humans, so yeah. Something tells me it's not the first time they've wiped out a colony. But now we know Quan's uh, origin story. She's probably gonna become one of these uh, here super soldiers to get revenge on every damn alien she ever sees. And I stand behind it. Yep, here comes the rage. Grief's now over, time to get angry. But also, could those guys not take her so that like she, I mean, she's got no one now, like just gonna leave her here so she has to fend for herself now? Like, or maybe they'll come get her after they find the ship and make sure there's no more, I guess. I don't know. Cave network does not appear to be a natural formation. So that's why they killed the people because they thought they were taking something? Uh-ohs. Retrieving now. Ah, ah, ah. What is it? Even the alien looks confused. Wow, this thing sent you right back to your childhood. That's dangerous. Interesting. Why didn't it just try to kill them right there? Maybe that one's not the fighter in the group. Now your ass gonna be. Oh, well, that's dangerous. See, Quan, I'm gonna need you to just stay put because, ma'am. Take it back to Fleetcom for research and intel. I'll retrieve the object and follow in the Condor. I'll fly with you. Yeah, you don't seem like you're okay. Go with the others. That's an order. Roger that. Okie dokie. You had a moment with that little rock, huh? The security committee is looking for an excuse to cut your funding. John recovered something. A madrigal. Oh, now we're sharing. If that object can tell us anything about them, I have a feeling the committee's concern about dead rebels will go away. Isn't that the way it always is in politics and war? Alien tech is Miranda's division. Mm -hmm. John found it. It belongs here. We gonna really have a little turf war here? I don't care who gets it first. Just do it. Get rid of that and any others. Clear? Clear. She's not gonna. Yeah, scientists never actually know the word stop. Once they get onto something, they're like dogs on bones. What are you uh, growing in there, Catherine? Got a little pet alien maybe? Alien human hybrid? Y'all scientists be freaky leaky like that. I see human, oh. She's cloning herself? What a weirdo. Yeah, no, I don't like you now. You weird. And yeah, destroy it. Like she's gonna destroy something that looks like her. You need to do that for her. Oh, we're gonna see the aliens too, okay. That's a horrible looking ship. Looks like a giant mushroom. <laughs> Not this chair. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I find it so funny. This looks like a very Star Warsy type animal. Caden. That looks very human. A human. Controlling these guys? Interesting. Oh, so she was like. So should she take it as a kid, maybe? Maybe a hostage that they decided to use to understand humans better? Perhaps. Mercy. Interesting name or title. All right, we need to understand what she's about. I thought maybe she was always running things, but maybe she was a captive since uh, she's learning about humans, meaning she wasn't around them a lot, maybe? But that makes sense. If you're trying to defeat a species, you need to understand it. 
which makes me wonder why the humans haven't captured one of these guys, but I guess it's because it's pretty much kill or be killed. Someone's obsessed. I don't know how we're going to stop them. You could help us do that. She's going to be a little angry. I think that it would go a long way to putting aside whatever these politicians are bickering about and helping us focus on the real war. Facts. But I feel like Quan's going to be mad that they didn't show up in time. Independence for Metrical is what my dad wanted. So that's what I want. There's no one there. But okay. I'll see you on reach. I mean, the timing was kind of bad on your guys' part. She's literally still grieving her dad. Literally still has her, like blood on her face from the children that died, you know? And she's also not very smart either. It's like, you saw that those aliens tossed y'all around like rag dolls and that the Spartans were the only ones that kept you alive. So you think it's a good idea to just what? Eliminate the people who could help you. Okay. Or alienate yourself, I should say. Family. Memories. A family. Did they wipe the memories of these Spartans? Is that what happens? Until we know more about that object. Don't touch it I'd again. Like to keep your distance from it. Not happening. You've been through a lot, John. She's patronizing. So I don't like her. Yeah, she's one of them bitches who acts like she cares, but she don't. He gonna touch that thing again. You can't undo something. From the sounds of things, maybe they wiped their memories and now whatever that thing was fixed it or started to fix it. And he's not gonna let it go. Yes. Anything to eat on this ship? Oh yeah, human, need food. Do Spartans not eat? Did that armor ever come off? I have so many questions. What's up my brother? Beard looking smooth. It's nothing personal. Nothing personal isn't a great excuse when it's your mom. Hmm. You know, you are a lot like her. Always the way when you butt heads. Despite our best effort, she succumbed. I, I spoke to her and she was They're going to kill her. He's trying to let you know. And you're okay with this? It's not about being okay. Welcome to the military. We're in a war, man. Yes. The future of humanity. What's the point in saving humanity if we're going to give up our own? Right? You're saving I'm humanity by know. killing humanity? Now I'm sounding like Halsey. Something tells me Miranda doesn't belong in this place. She does not have the heart for it. As in actually having a heart. Maybe her and Quan are going to become besties. You know, we've actually met before today. When was this? When you killed my mother. Oh, well, that's Ox. Can't turn around without staring at an uplink about humanity's best weapon. It's free advertising and he didn't even pay for it. <laughs> that's awkward. I gotta kill you now. He's not gonna do it. That artifact looks like it woke up a heck of a lot more than just his memories. The whole see what's wrong with 117. Isn't Nothing. that it's the title of the episode? Who has decided to build the video for your friends? What's going on? I don't know. There is right. no Cortana system, Catherine. No cloning, no Cortana. Is that clear? Now get your Spartan under control. There is a Cortana, because her, her clone's still alive. See, y'all gonna have to do this yourself. What are you doing? Saving your life, believe it or not. Take down the oxygen in 117. Don't drop the O2 below 40, I want him unconscious. Oh, they're doing it. It's holding up 40%. He's unconscious. Well, that's one way to take control of the situation. Okay. John Spartan, if you know what I'm saying. He said, you ain't gonna kill me today. If he's unconscious, how come he's opening panels of the ship? <laughs> Atmosphere control. I'm sorry. <laughs> if he's unconscious, how the hell are you doing this? Make it make sense. Question one more order, Doctor. And you can watch from the lab. She's tired of your sh What you gonna do, Johnny? They are looking to take you down, bro. Y'all realize that this is all for one one soldier and a little and a teenage girl who's unconscious. What is this? 
Is this another one putting on his stuff? I guess so. From anyone who actively threatens his life, whatever the circumstances. Engage friendlies, ma'am. If they go after chief, they're not friendlies. I heard the bass in that voice. That's a black man right there. They say, that's my brother. You step in my way, you see what happens. I don't like her. She's shady, I can tell. But you know what? I like that she protects her people. Why well, should I trust you? Do you have a choice? I thought so. Mask has to come off. She needs to see you as a person. But also it lets her know that he's trusting her. Not so easy to shoot when it's not just a mask, huh? I heard a Spartan did that. Because the Spartan's been touched by an object. There's the smart move. So what now? I get back to work that you just distracted me from for five whole minutes. Your Spartan just gave it in search of the fight. Three days. The drama! Are his buddies gonna get to go with him? Because I feel like this this plane can't land. I need to disconnect, stabilize the servos at the same time. Okay, Otherwise, we lose complete control. Like, did it didn't occur to him that maybe she doesn't know what any of those words that you're saying mean, sir? She grew up on a planet full of dirt. John's a bit irritable with his emotions have come back. Jeez. Knock it down. Wow. Oh, it's hovering. That's interesting. Drop the gun. And if he makes a move, drop him too. You sure talk tough from someone in a control room. Chief, please. Touch it again. It's going to protect you. Maybe he'll sound out like an EMP. I can show you the world. She's like, really? You want to sit there and do pictures and lights right now? Oh, did they take him as a boy? That would make more sense. He was drawing that as a boy? Did I not call the MP? Ah, that's what you get. Good job, Johnny. Ooh, this thing's like, we take it over now. Let's go. Wait, let your friends come. I wonder if that's gonna wake up the other soldiers now though. Although it would be bad for them because they can't escape. And off they go. And just like a scientist, she's like, this is bad for me, but it's also good for me. <laughs> it's always about the science first, baby. All right, guys. Well, our duo is now off into the galaxy, it looks like. That was the first episode called Contact, and uh, we're, we've got a lot. We, we kind of got an introduction, obviously, to what Spartans are in this world. We still don't have a lot of information about like what makes them a Spartan yet and the kind of the makeup of them, but we saw from that whole alien fight that they're clearly a lot stronger and faster than a typical human. We also heard that from the storyteller at the beginning of the show. And we also found out that they're kind of been using, being used by this UNSC government to basically subdue anybody who doesn't want to fall under the protection of whatever this government is. So we got a little bit of a intergalactic war going on, it looks like. There's some people, I guess, who just don't want to fall under this colonization. And like I said, if they resist, it looks like these Spartans were kind of created as a way to scare people into submission. But... As we see now, this alien threat called the Covenant has come in and these aliens are no joke. Like they are so much stronger <laughs> and faster than the average human. They're wiping out colonies pretty easily. And these Spartans are pretty much the only ones who are strong enough to go up against them. But as we saw with that whole exchange between Quan and that girl, what was her name, Miranda? Um, there's a lot of distrust between these rebels and the government. So it's going to probably take a lot more death <laughs> before some of these uh, people realize that everyone's got to work together. But they've definitely set up Quan to be potentially the next new rebel leader. She's got a valid reason not to trust the UNSC. Obviously, we found out that they've killed both. Well, they killed her mother and her father was very much against them. And then, of course, with the death that happened, she probably somewhat blames the Spartans for not being, you know, everywhere at once in that particular moment. But like I said, it's that origin story that we're seeing. I feel like Quan is definitely being set up to be a leader to, who's going to kind of bring everyone together so they can fight this alien threat. Because obviously, you know, humanity surviving and it's, you know, is like the basic need that all of them have to agree on, right? They need to be able to survive these aliens. And so they don't have time for infighting because that just leaves more 
more space for these aliens to step in and wipe them out. We also see that these aliens have a human in their midst. Um, not sure how that happened, but like I said, based on the fact that she was reading about humanity and learning about people, I have to think that she's never been around very many of them. So I am wondering if she was captured as a child or a baby and I'm not sure exactly why they chose to keep her, but it looks like they're kind of keeping her maybe as like a bridge between humanity and them. And then we did see with whatever that weird thing was in the floating chair, he was like, I need you to read that stuff from the humans for me because I don't want to understand them. So, so far, it looks like there's still a big gap between the aliens and humans and understanding them. We saw that some of those, um, the aliens that were on the planet, they were calling the humans demons. Oh no, he was calling, that's what they were calling the Spartans. Sorry, they were calling the Spartans demons. But anyway, so there's clearly some kind of weird thing happening between the aliens and the humans. And I guess we're gonna learn more about that as the series continues. But it would be good to know like why they're attacking humanity all of a sudden, or if it's always been their plan, or if the humans have done something across the line that they shouldn't have. And then yeah, other than that, we got this, some sight into John. It looks like I said, it looks like memories were suppressed or purged. And that's kind of how these Spartans are able to, you know, exist and do what they do. The fact that they just saw those dead bodies and were like, yep, everyone died. We took care of the problem. We're going to go take care of the ship. Bye. Like no emotion. The fact that they were actually going to just leave Quan there by the, herself. Like there's something that's happening that's conditioned them to be less human. But, you know, humans are human. <laughs> At our core, we are human. Our emotions are part of us. And you can only do so much to a human brain to suppress that before you really do some real damage. So it looks like whenever John touched whatever this artifact is, it somehow started to repair that damage. We saw whatever this thing is, it's got some serious regener regenerative power. And like we saw it, it set onto an EMP, which is what I hoped it would do. It restarted the ship. It seems to be trying to, like I said, fix the damage that whatever this, this program did to John's brain has done. So I'm not sure what it is yet, but it looks like it's definitely a catalyst to fixing a few things and possibly being the key to whatever this alien human war thing is. So John has now escaped and he's now obviously the most wanted person in the galaxy along with Quan. Definitely gonna set them up for uh, a lot of adventure and probably some forced bonding. I am hoping that the rest of the Spartans get to join because it looks like they do have a sense of camaraderie despite the fact that they're not necessarily operating on the same level as uh, regular humans. But like I said, maybe that EMP ended up doing something for them too. We're gonna see them all start to unravel but we'll have to see how that works because they are still stuck at that base and I feel like they're gonna try to reprogram them, but that scientist seems more, much more interested in what the artifact can do than trying to reverse it, if that makes sense. So I think it's a really solid opening to the show. It's very interesting. Lots of questions have been raised and more so than answering things, but it still managed to engage me and I'm very much looking forward to continuing on with the season. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.